Well, gunshots sound off inside an upstate hospital, which left two people hurt, one of them a police officer. And we'll to we're told the police officer is now out of the hospital and expected to be okay. No word yet on the other man's condition. Fox Carolina's Jennifer Phillips has been in Lawrence County all day. She is live there for us. So, Jen, what happened here inside that hospital? Well, Cody, right now we do know that sled agents are investigating this case, which is protocol when there is an officer involved shooting in the state. We're told a police officer and a state trooper tried to talk to a visitor here at the hospital when that man pulled a gun and then shortly after that, shots went off. The lights usually flash red at the emergency department at Prisma Health Lawrence County Hospital. This time, they're blue. What we did was we could tie in the perimeter. Sled agents say an officer with the Greenville Health Authority Police Department got into a confrontation with the visitor who had a gun. It needs to stop because we talk about the guns. It's not the guns. It's the people that have the guns. Lawrence County Sheriff Don Reynolds says his deputies helped secure the area around the hospital after a visitor shot the officer and the officer shot him in the arm. We got there early so we, you know, we marked, put some markers down for the what evidence we saw on the ground. The hospital went on lockdown. No one in and no one out. So those stuck inside went to Facebook. One woman wrote, my son and I were next door to the room where that shooting took place. Very, very scary. When the hospital goes on shutdown, they stop all, they stop all operations. So they can't have any influx into the hospital because they're not performing any services. Sheriff Reynolds says his officers assisted Greenville Health Authority police because they all signed up to protect and to serve. You know that that guy was doing everything he could to protect everyone else. He wasn't thinking of himself. He was thinking of everybody around him. So he wanted to stop the threat because he is the only, the only pre preventative measure. Is, is, and he's going to take whatever steps he feels he needs to take to, to accomplish that. So investigators haven't released the suspect's name. Sheriff Don Reynolds, all he will say about the suspect is that he is very familiar to investigators and he calls him a repeat offender. Live in Lawrence County, Jennifer Phillips, Fox Carolina, the 5 o'clock news.